Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the dependency injection IOC in the Spring Boot. So let's imagine if uh, we are going to create a, a shop web app or any uh, shop software. So for that, uh, in the shop, many customers come and putting the order and purchasing the product right so in that i am going to use the inversion of controller ioc means inversion of control i am going to use this method how i am going to use this method if in the shop we have many customers right customer 1 customer 2, customer 3, like that, we have many customers, we need to uh, create this, uh, how many customers are coming to this shop, we need to create the object individually, so that at the same time we need to create a classes also, so in that time we just creating the dependency injection which is DI, okay, we just creating the dependency injection which makes a container which makes a container what we going to do in the shop three customers coming to purchasing the product so I am going to create three classes and customer 1, customer 2 and customer 3 in that I am what I am going to do I am just put into the container so the first class is customer I am just collecting the classes in the DI container DI means dependency injection so here I make this uh, this is the component which means every class I am collecting inside the container so every class con uh, consists of one component so cust1 is the first component I mean the class customer1 is the first component like that customer2 is the second class that one is second component like that you can uh, creating any other classes that representing third component so di helps to uh, help to collect all the classes by the component type okay we just converting the class to component and then we can able to collect all the classes in the container of dependency injection and we can uh, able to create an object which is uh, with the help of IOC inversion of control whatever the classes you need so now we are going to see how to create it Let's go to the Spring Initializer website. I am going to fix the project. So, here in the tool, I need Spring Web. So click on generate control button. Save it. And go back to your folder. Extract that uh, package. Project package. I am extracted here. Go to the Eclipse, click on file menu and go to import and select the Maven project, click on existing Maven project. Here you can browse, select the folder and click on finish. It will take time. Yes, it is downloaded here. So now what I am going to do, I am just going to create 
three customer classes and i am going to make this customer classes two component okay then only we can able to collect all the classes inside the di container which is dependency injection so here before that i am going to the main program i am going to create one local variable so in that spring application dot run method is uh, default so for that uh, run method i am assigning one variable where or so anything you can give i am assigning one variable where equal to so that where variable is default one so we need to make this variable local variable so you just uh, get get your get your cursor point on the variable you can able to see these things in that you can select the create local variable automatically configurable application context class will be there and this variable makes local and now we can able to uh, collect all the classes in the dependency injection so before that i am going to create once save this file i am going to create three customer classes customer 1 so inside that i am declaring two variables only id private string customer name so for this uh, variables i have creating getter and setter methods and inside this customer class i have creating one method let's show so here i am just given one like customer one objects printed once i save this what i am going to do i am just before i am going to collect collect the object into the container before normally i am going to create a object for the customer one class and i will show you the output also customer one c1 is the object normally we can create like this object right and if we normally creating this i am calling the show method it will be work and i am running this program also i am getting the uh, uh, i am getting the statement from the show method i called the show method in the show method we have a customer one object is printed like so i am getting the output here customer one object printed so so the next thing is uh, see this is normal way and we we will not collect the object into the dependency injection and when you working with the another customer class object another customer class method it will be make a trouble we already using the show method and all everything so it will be a trouble so what we can do now we just uh, need to collect this object c1 object to the uh, dependency injection so for that what i am going to do i am removing the memory here we created the local variable right so i am using the local variable A any name you can give i am just uh, declaring where you can give anything so v a uh, r dot get b i am calling the b method open close submit get bean and in the get bean method inside you need to pass the class which class we going to collect 
which class we going to collect in the container so currently we created the customer one class so i am passing the class customer one dot the class type you need to give the class type that's it now i am running again now what i can do i am just collecting the customer one class to the b okay so i am collecting i we here before i told you i am just collecting all the classes inside the container so now i can did okay i am just collecting the class in the container now i am running the same program before running the program you need to stop click on stop because every time you need to check whether the tomcat server is running you need to stop click on stop and then run again or else you will get the error i am running this program see i am getting one error because no qualifying bin of type ioc our project name is available see no no qualifying bin of type it telling which means i told you before storing the class into the di dependency injection container we need to make the class is component okay we need to make the class is component so for that what i am going to do stop again and go back to your customer one class in that i am going to fix one annotation component so this uh, component annot annotation can able to fix your classes component for that you need to enter one header file it will automatically show you and save this and run again see now it will be work successfully we are changing the class to component and we are storing the class into the dependency injection container okay and next i am going to create a like this three classes customer 2 inside also i am going to do uh, all the same things private int id same things i am going to do so for that i am copying it and paste it to every customer classes so i am just pasting here simply i can change the print line inside the show method apart from that everything has to be same and i need to fix the component annotation here for that you need to add the import file again i am going to create another one class customer 3 here also i am just copying all the things and paste it to here and i'm just changing customer three object in the show method and for this class also component so we need to add the import file so now we go back to the main program and now i can able to collect all the now what i can do i have created three customer classes and i make the classes in the component right i make the classes or component and now what we can do now we need to collect all the component classes to the container first one we already did we need to do second and the third so for that i am just copying this line simply we can change the customer 2 and object 2 and here also customer 2 customer 3 object also c3 and here also c3 see now what i can did what i can did 
I am just creating three objects C1, C2, C3. But C1 object I am uh, for referring customer one dot class. It will be stored to the container of DI dependency injection and C2 object for customer class two and C3 object for customer three. Okay. So once I collected all the classes using that object, I am collecting all the show methods from the classes perfectly it will be work individually c1 show uh, i am calling the method from c1 object show it will be work from uh, it will be called from the customer one class and c2 object show method it will be work called from customer two class c3 object uh, show method will be working from called from c3 customer class object so once again i stop the tomcat server i'm running the program again see now from all the classes show method printed here so in this way we can work with the dependency injection before doing the dependency injection before doing this collecting all the classes to the bean you need to make the classes you need to make the classes to the component okay i hope this video is clear so thanks for watching next video we going to see another topic